For 16 years of my life, I've dipped my toes in many a game genre, but one that's always stuck out to me is the running gun genre. The best way I can describe it is an endless bullet storm of chaos and destruction. My experience with the genre, however, is weird. I'm not good at them in any sense of the word. Heck, I would say got awful. But I keep coming back to them, mainly for how addicting and stress relieving they are. Which is pretty ironic, considering the fact that this is a genre that's known for making people extremely pissed off and upset. Whenever I hear people talk about running gun games or read online posts about them, they always bring up the usual suspects. Contra, Gunstar Heroes, Mega Man, Rockman if you live in Japan, and last, but certainly, Metal Slug! In the year 2028, General Donald Morden plans a coup d'etat on the world's government and persuades various army factions to join his rebel army. He also stole the new model tank, the SV-001, which was given the code name Metal Slug. As the world's government fails to curb Warden's rise to power, as a last ditch effort, they send Captain Marco Rossi and Lieutenant Tom Rovin of the Peregrine Falcon Strike Force, or the PFSF for short, to defeat the general and crush the crew, while also causing billions of dollars in collateral damage. And that's it for the story. I didn't really expect it to be this short, but then again it's an arcade game, so what was I really expecting? The best way to describe the gameplay of Metal Slug, or at least for me, is that it's very easy to pick up, but extremely difficult to master. But there are things to make your trek through the stage somewhat manageable, like weapon upgrades. You start out with a regular pistol, which I don't mind too much, but you can upgrade it to a heavy machine gun, which is rapid fire, but can mow things down extremely quickly, or a rocket launcher, which has some minor homing capabilities, or a flamethrower, which has a wide radius, or a shotgun, which just wrecks everything in its path. These weapons are useful, but they have a limited ammunition, and they aren't permanent upgrades, but you can extend the use of it um, by finding the same weapon icon during the stage. In addition to shooting, you can also perform a melee attack by getting up close to an enemy and stabbing them with a knife. You also don't die by touching soldiers, you die when you get shot or get hit by their own melee attack, which in my experience happens a lot because you die in one hit and you only have a total of two lives per continue. Now let's talk about the eponymous metal slug. You usually find them during the stage and if you do decide to get inside of it, you get a boost in strength and defense. You can also leave by crouching and jumping out or using it as a kamikaze attack as a last resort. Though if it takes too much damage, you can more or less lose it entirely, but if you stay inside it and forget to jump out, then you die instantly. It also is equipped with two Vulcan cannons. A really neat idea with them is that if you were to move, the cannons move with you. But in execution, it feels very cumbersome because if an enemy is hovering above you, you're, a majority of the time you're gonna miss your shots. And in return, take damage. Can I just say, the game looks amazing. The attention to detail and fluidity in the sprites and backgrounds are just stunning. It honestly makes me wonder how long this all this took to make because something so minute, it's just even a single animation, takes an impressive amount of time and energy out of someone and I commend SNK for doing this. And it's sort of pioneering the sprite-based video games because all of this started from just a single pixel on a screen. The game's soundtrack is also not that bad. It's what you expect in a really chain theme game, you know, emphasis on snare drums, brass, and the occasional guitar. Like the theme of the second stage in your station, the guitars complement the warlike theme to game nights. It's not in my top video game soundtracks, but I'll hump through it until it's so fun and bored. Though it's kinda of hard to hear when the game is just a lot of shit. So that's Metal Slug 1, the little running gun game that could. The 
game I honestly didn't expect to be this long. I'm not saying you expect it to be short because you can beat it about half an hour if you know what you're doing. But if you want to play a game that gets your blood pumping and adrenaline going, I would recommend this game to you in a heartbeat. But to paraphrase from a very beautiful Twinkie Bread that I will link in the description, the game is not for everyone, but that's a good thing. Some games shouldn't strive to appeal to the mainstream because it waters down ideas that could appeal to the often neglected minority rather than being treated tolerated by the majority. So, you know, go, go get this game. It's on the Wii, the PS3, the Wii U, was on the virtual console. Just go get it. Go get it. So it's, like, it's everywhere, practically. It's all too far out. Have fun. Get some friends. And get mad at each other for fucking up. So, okay? That, that's it. Review's over.